Look at this chateau we're coming up on. We're gonna visit the chateau. Hey everyone, we're continuing our series in the French Riviera and today we're leaving Cannes to check out this chateau on the sea. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of our travels. Now let's get started with this adventure. Welcome back everybody on this episode we're leaving Cannes for the day by ferry and headed to a small French town called Mandalou La Napole where there is a French castle on the sea and we're going to spend the day exploring it. We booked our tickets online with River Airlines which is a daily ferry service out of Cannes departing to several nearby destinations and then returning later in the day. The ferries are quite spacious and once we got on the ferry it was open seating so we were trying to decide whether to sit downstairs inside or upstairs. We thought sitting upstairs would be nice with the breeze in the air, but then we decided that it might be just a little too warm. Trying to find the coolest part on the boat because it is warm. After exploring the top deck, we realized that you were just too exposed and it was way too warm. So we decided to head back downstairs and found a spot up near the front where there was a breeze through the open window. And we had a good view looking out over the bow of the boat. Before we knew it, we were underway on an excursion for the day. That's the port of Cannes behind me. Can you see my sweat? I'm so sweaty. All right, so we bought a day pass on the ferry, and we're gonna go ferry hopping today out of Cannes. It was 10 euros, so basically 10 bucks. And it goes to three different stops, and you can hop off and hop back on. So we're gonna stop at Port La Napoli, and we're gonna go to a castle, maybe get some lunch. And then there's another cool beach that we can hike to as well. I'll show you on the map. Now I know it's hard to see on this map, but the ferry departs Cannes and then makes three stops across the bay and then reverse routes back to Cannes. And there are multiple ferries throughout the day. So the ticket is 10 bucks a person all day and you can hop on and hop off the ferry. You just got to watch the times and not miss your ferry back. Our seats had great access to the bow up front where you could go out and get some sea breeze and also check out the French coastline. The ferry ride from Cannes to our stop in Lanapool was fairly quick. It was only about a 30 minute ride. And before we knew it, we were pulling into the port and could see the chateau on the sea off in the distance. It was about a 30 minute ferry ride. It went really quickly, but look at this chateau we're coming up on. All right, we're approaching the dock. It's time to get off our boat and explore Mandalude Lana Pool. All right, here we go. I don't know where we're going or what we're gonna do, but we're gonna go explore. And then we're gonna go check out that chateau. And maybe go to the beach. <laughs> mm. yeah. Does anybody wanna get some lunch? Yes, I do. I want to get uh, what if I just jumped in the water right now? I know. Look at this little beach shack here. So this is the beach club in Port Nepal. A little bit smaller than the ones in Cannes, but still pretty cool. So we'll be back here later for some ice cream, but right now we're going to head into town and find some place to eat. We found this little restaurant right across the street with some great outdoor seating and shade. They had fresh made to order food and the name of the place was called La Bellini. Alright, now that we're cooled off and all fueled up, it's time to explore Chateau de la Napoule. We chose to do the self-guided tour which cost us about 4 euros and we literally had the place to ourselves. I know it's kind of warm today but no one else was in the castle when we were there so we got to take our time and explore where we wanted and how we wanted. So here are some facts on the chateau. The chateau was originally built in the 14th century but was rebuilt many times over the last several hundred years. In 1918, an American couple came across the castle and purchased it. They began a long renovation of the castle and in World War II, the Germans actually occupied the castle for some time. On the other side of this wall and chateau is the ocean that I want to go swim along the side because it's really hot out here. 
But here's a natural spring. Pretty cool. I'm not sure if that water's fresh or not. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. But it's cool. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, it's nice and cool here. <laughs> Let's go check this out. The castle now sits mostly vacant and is a retreat and museum for art lovers. We spent about an hour here exploring. It's definitely worth the four euros. The most impressive thing about this chateau is the amazing view overlooking the Bay of Cannes. This is the type of castle that I want. Oceanfront castle. Hello. Are you standing watch? Yes, I'm standing watch. My shift has sadly um, come up. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, can we put this back? Can we put this thing here again? I mean, he doesn't watch you to pee there. Come on. Wasn't there when I wasn't there when I worked there? They're a really nice picture. Um, Okay, you can go in here, but I'm too scared to. Ooh! Kenji, come on! Wow! This is the guard, where the guards would sit. The guards would sit, watch. Slide. Okay, I'm going now. Wow, that's amazing, bye guys. I can break some rules about here. Here's the little archer's niche. Yeah, that, look. Voila, and here is the ocean. So we're walking through this oceanfront chateau and exploring it. We're like the only ones here right now. Yeah. But probably the coolest chateau or castle I've ever been in because right over my shoulder is an amazing view. Yeah. That is the horn of the ferry leaving, but fortunately that is not our ferry. We're going to be on the next one. The castle was neat to explore and a lot of fun. As you can see, we pretty much have the place to ourselves. It was also nice to find little spots like this, sit back, relax, and take in this amazing view. All right, it's getting pretty warm and we have pretty much explored this castle, at least the gardens, and now we're gonna head down to that beach way out there. I don't know if you can see it, but we're gonna get in this water because it is really hot outside. We've all been looking at this beautiful water all day and you know our family, we love to get in the ocean so it's time to head down the beach and see how the water is. Going to the beach. Okay, and we went and toured that castle right behind, behind us. It's so cool. Sorry, it's not a castle, it's a it's chateau. chateau. Oh my gosh, it feels like a castle. And now we're just cooling off in this awesome beach right outside of it. And it's pretty cool because you can swim all the way along the side of the chateau. But anyway, just we're another gonna, yeah. excursion and adventure. Wait, for Disney fans out there, I've got to say something. So this is the Once Upon a Time castle. So above the doorway, it says Once Upon a Time etched oh. in their veranda. And that's, that's her vision of doing all of this. And guys, dad, just don't stop filming so mom will keep carrying me. <laughs> <laughs> there's Parker over there. Can you wave, Parker? <laughs> okay. His hair looks like gray. All right. It's switching out. Let's get a view of the rest of the beach. 
There's a cute little, there's a cool little beach club right behind me where you can rent chairs and get drinks mm -hmm. and snacks. It's cash only, which I learned. <laughs> Luckily, I had enough cash. <laughs> and trusty though. So, yeah. Can you stop walking away? Parker had $40 full time. He did? Euro. He had $40. Right now? Yes. <laughs> you were right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. He knew. I wonder where all my euros went. <laughs> Ask Parker. I don't know. Yeah, I went up to go pay with my card. And most places take card, but this place did not. And I only had 10 euros and it was 18 euros. <laughs> Luckily, I ran back to my wallet or my... Uh, shorts and I got all the change that I could get out of it and I had enough and yeah. I had to run back and give it to but her. But they're so trusty. But she was cool. She's just like, like yeah, food. just take all the stuff and come yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna enjoy this water here. <laughs> yeah. gonna let me Are you guys having fun? Yeah, mom. He's bullying. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like he's being rude. Teenage kids. We're... Teenage dad. Thanks, Kenzie. The water was well worth the wait. It was so refreshing, and we had this beautiful view of the chateau we just toured. The water was warm and mostly clear, and it was definitely a highlight of our excursion today, enjoying this one of a kind view in the Bay of Cannes. We spent a good hour in the water, which was well worth it. Now it's time to head back to the dock since our ferry's almost here, but along the way, we gotta stop for some ice cream. We're gonna get some ice cream again. I want bubble gum. <gasps> I'm gonna get Ben and Jerry's cookie dough, you know? Okay. That's for you, Taylor, Ben and Jerry's cookie dough. <laughs> That's her favorite ice cream. I did. Are there like spoons? Parker, how's your bubble gum? Very bubbly and gum. It was cool. Did you have fun today? I sure did. <laughs> Our yeah. little excursion. It was, yeah, it was a little excursion. It was fun, and it was only a thirty-minute boat ride, so it was yep. quick. <laughs> and the cool thing is, the ferry was ten euros a person, mm -hmm. and the castle or the chateau was yeah. only four euros a person, and the beach was for free. Free. So it was a fairly inexpensive half day out. All right, we had. A nice day, half day here at the beach in Chateau. And now we're catching our ferry back to Cannes. That's right, we got, we got more stuff to do. The day is young. <laughs> the day is young when the sun is out till 10. <laughs> Overall, we spent about five hours on this half-day excursion. It was a lot of fun exploring this little town on the Bay of Cannes in the French Riviera. Now it's time to head back to Cannes and get ready for the evening. We were all a little worn out from the heat and the sun and the kids decided to take a little nap on the way back. But before we knew it, 30 minutes later we were entering the port of Cannes once again. Overall, it was a fun half day excursion that we put together on our own. So if you're in Cannes looking for something inexpensive to do, check out Riviera Ferry and see what stops they have for the day and then put together your own adventure. That's it for this episode. Stay tuned for more of our adventures in the French Riviera and Cannes. And please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you've been to Cannes, let us know in the comments what your favorite adventure was. I'm okay. Okay. Oh. What was that? I was supposed to, you were supposed to catch me. Oh, don't you? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more American Travel Family Adventures. <laughs>